stop stalling. Chest growth techniques that actually work. Hey, fitness enthusiasts, are you ready to embark on a journey to build the chest of your dreams? Whether you're hitting a plateau or just starting, this video is your ultimate guide to adding mass and definition to your pecs. So grab your note-taking gear because these nine science back tips will transform your chest workouts and give you that well-developed chest you've been dreaming of. And don't forget, we've got some exclusive tips weighing at the end. So stick around. Ever wondered why your chest isn't growing despite all the hard work? You might be missing out on these nine game-changing strategies. One, opt for bodybuilding bench press style. While powerlifting style bench pressing has gained popularity, Focusing on bodybuilding style bench presses can lead to better muscle growth. Unlike powerlifting, which aims to minimize range of motion, bodybuilding style presses emphasize a fuller range of motion. This approach activates muscles more effectively, leading to enhanced growth. Two press hands inward, doing barbell and dumbbell presses. Focus on pressing your hands inward as if you're trying to bring them together while your hands won't actually move due to fixed equipment. This technique increases chest activation by mimicking shoulder horizontal adduction, a primary function of the chest muscles. Three, increase chest workout frequency. As you advance in your fitness journey, moving past the novice phase demands strategic adjustments to your training regimen. One crucial aspect often overlooked is the frequency of chest workouts. While beginners may thrive on a once-a-week approach, research advocates for a shift towards a higher frequency for enhanced muscle growth and development. Studies have illuminated the benefits of targeting the chest muscles more frequently, training the chest twice a week as opposed to the traditional once-a-week routine, has been shown to stimulate greater hypertrophy and strength gains. This intensified stimulus encourages muscle adaptation and facilitates progress beyond plateaus. However, embracing a higher frequency approach requires a nuanced understanding of individual variability. Every body responds differently to training stimuli influenced by factors such as genetics, recovery capacity, and lifestyle. Therefore, it's imperative to experiment with various frequencies and observe how your body responds Finding the optimal frequency entails a delicate balance between training intensity and adequate recovery. Pushing the limits of frequency without allowing ample time for recovery can lead to overtraining, compromising progress, and increasing the risk of injury. On the other hand, too much rest between sessions may hinder progress by failing to provide sufficient stimulus for muscle growth. Tailoring the frequency of chest workouts to suit your body's needs involves a process of trial and adjustment. Begin by gradually increasing the frequency, monitoring your performance, recovery, and overall well-being. Listen to your body's cues signs of persistent fatigue, decreased performance, or lingering soreness may indicate the need to scale back or adjust your approach. Fourth, ensure full range of motion. Avoid the common mistake of not lowering the weight enough during dumbbell and barbell presses. Fully lowering the weight allows for optimal chest stimulation, whereas partial reps primarily engage the triceps. Aim to lower the bar or dumbbells until they touch your chest, unless you have shoulder issues. 5. Alternate weight and rep ranges. The essence of alternating rep ranges lies in the principle of muscle confusion, a concept that revolves around constantly challenging the muscles in novel ways to prevent adaptation and plateauing. By varying the number of repetitions performed per set, individuals can target both fast-twitch and slow-twitch muscle fibers, thereby promoting balanced muscle development and maximizing hypertrophy. A fundamental aspect of incorporating alternate rep ranges is understanding the distinct benefits. Each range offers a low rep range 3-2 for reps. This range primarily targets fast-twitch muscle fibers which are crucial for explosive strength and power. By lifting heavier weights for fewer repetitions, individuals can enhance neuromuscular efficiency and recruit a higher threshold of muscle fibers. Beat moderate rep range 610 reps. The moderate rep range strikes a balance between strength and hypertrophy, making it ideal for muscle growth. By lifting moderately heavy weights for moderate repetitions, 
Individuals can induce significant metabolic stress and mechanical tension. Two key drivers of muscle hypertrophy. C. High rep range 1 to 2 O reps. High rep ranges primarily emphasize muscular endurance and metabolic fatigue, fostering muscle endurance and promoting vascularity. Lifting lighter weights for higher repetitions increases time under tension, stimulating muscle fibers to adapt and grow. 6. Moderate incline pressing. While incline presses can target the upper chest, avoid excessively steep incline angles. Research shows that a 30-degree incline produces optimal upper chest activation without compromising overall chest development. Adjust bench angles accordingly to maximize chest engagement. 7. Utilize cable exercises. Incorporate cable chest presses into your routine to target the chest through a full range of motion and maintain constant tension. Unlike barbell and dumbbell presses, cables allow for horizontal adduction throughout the entire movement, leading to enhanced chest activation. AD Upgrade Your Flies Experiment with Cable Chest Flies with a pronated hand position thumbs facing each other to optimize chest muscle recruitment. This variation provides a mechanical advantage, allowing for greater chest activation compared to traditional dumbbell flies. Additionally, cable flies maintain tension throughout the entire range of motion. 9. Prioritize Progressive Overload Constantly challenge yourself by increasing the weight load over time. Progressive overload is essential for continuous muscle growth beyond the beginner stage. Track your progress and aim to gradually increase the weight you lift for each rep range, ensuring a steady progression toward your strength and hypertrophy goals. By implementing these nine tips, individuals can enhance their chest muscle development, leading to a fuller, more sculpted chest over time. Consistency, proper form, and gradual progression are key principles to keep in mind for sustainable muscle growth and overall fitness success. Discover the ultimate workout essentials to elevate your fitness journey. Click on the link in the video description to explore a curated selection of top quality gear and equipment that will maximize your workouts and help you achieve your fitness goals. Whether you're into strength training, cardio, or yoga, we've got you covered with everything you need to power up your workouts and unleash your full potential. Don't miss out. Click now and revolutionize your fitness routine. And there you have it. Nine unbeatable tips to getting closer to the chest you've always wanted. These aren't just tricks. They're science-backed strategies that can help you push through barriers and see real results. Remember, a stellar chest isn't just for looks. It's about building functional strength that makes life easier. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Share the video with your friends. Ready to transform your chest and your body? Let's crush those fitness goals together. Are you tired of relying on coffee to jumpstart your day? In this intriguing video, we explore an alternative approach, cold showers. Discover the surprising health benefits and potential transformative effects of ditching your morning. Brew for a refreshing plunge into cold water. Please click on the screen.